Hello and welcome to Dark Mouse's Daily Scroll with me, Dark Mouse. Me, Hannah Conda. Me, Thurf. And me, Cassius. And we have a special guest with us today. As you can hear, Cassius has joined us for his first ever game of Scrolls. Indeed. Hello. Instead of me fucking up all the time, we'll have someone else doing it. <laughs> and I did not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to what is a lovely, hopefully soon to be very stormy um, Thursday evening in Plymouth. Indeed, it's currently pitch black outside and probably about 10 degrees. And we have all the fans running in Void Hive HQ because why the fuck not? <laughs> Electricity usage! Yay! Cool. So yes, again, the um, format is post-production, and we are keeping the format this week with uh, choosing between Decay or the Automator Titans, my energy deck, which are quite titanic. So you went with Decay? Eventually, yes. <laughs> yes. So you're straight into a quick match, I'm guessing. That's right, yeah. Keeping yep. the tradition of guest appearances, not playing ranked matches. Yeah. Yes, because I think that's a bit mean, throwing them in with someone with a rating of over a thousand um, in their first game. Yeah. Kind of mean. Would it have made that much of a difference? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it really would. Because uh, the, f- the further up the ratings you get, the better you are. And um, I've somehow managed to get to 11,000th and something players. Um, You're a very strategic everybody. person, though, so this works well Fair for enough. you. Fair enough. That's very true. <laughs> but um, if I throw on Castia straight into a game of a ranked match uh, style, it wouldn't have been too fair. Yeah, you would have had your ass handed to you on a lovely decorated silver plate. So, Even more yeah. so then, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Not to imply that you did badly in this game or anything. No, you know? and not to imply we're doing post-production again at all. <laughs> <laughs> did you figure out how to actually... Spoilers! ...play it? Like, in your first two turns, at least? Maybe more like the fifth or sixth. Oh, dear. <laughs> I started getting the hang of it, but... Um, mm. Yeah. That, that, but that, we can let others decide that for themselves. There's, there's Cassius considering the um, forever used, the always used, don't sack, sack for resources on the first turn, sack for cards. Thankfully, he sacked for resources. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did um, not mention that. <laughs> Why can't I hold all these scrolls? <laughs> I think I did that. That's not, in all fairness, it's in not a game. bad thing. Get two more scrolls, it just puts you one resource behind. Oh, yeah, like, fair enough. Why yeah. can't I play any of these scrolls? <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's like well, me with well, Tamayo. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> yeah Maybe yeah. because it was the decay deck. I don't I can't I don't know what the other symbols are, but the purple s- triangle on the top of the cards mm. clearly was shown by Confused the purple. the fuck out of you. Initially, yes. And I saw the other purple triangle in the bottom left-hand corner. I thought maybe these are related. <laughs> 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 oh dear. And of course, he went in without any prior knowledge of how to play the game or what the hell he was doing. It's kind of mean. Um, we probably should have given him a prep, but he did pretty well considering. I read the about section of the website. <laughs> so he's had some prep, yeah, that's fine. He, did he, more had, than he had plenty me, of prep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, no. So, what do you um, think of Scrolls as a game? Initial reaction, very complex. Mm-hmm. Um, but as, the, as I got more settled into it, it, became, it started to flow a bit more. Um, Lots of combinations, but very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Uh, something that I want to get into. Cool. Good. Um, what, what do you think would be your first deck, then? Putting you horribly on the spot here. Well, the de- uh, the Decay deck didn't really um, emulate my playing style um, in general for, for games of this uh, type. Um, so from what I've learned since playing this game, because I've had lots of tutorials afterwards, um, probably either Growth or Energy. Cool. Cool. Um, maybe have a play around and, so and see. Here's and see. a question then, building on that, um, to put to the everyone in general. Do you think that there is a play style that's general to all collectible card games, be they tabletop or online or whatever? Mm. I think to some extent, yes. I mean, obviously you've got the strategic players, you're all up for strength players. Quick starting mm. things. Quick starting things. Yeah. That burn. I, mean, I think <laughs> there are some generic things that do um, apply yeah. to a series of game mm. um, card game um, card games. There's, but, there's uh, common themes. Yeah, common yeah. themes. Yeah. yeah. And we're all Magic players here, so you know we've come to Scrolls having played Magic: The Gathering mm. in depth. Oh yeah. Both tabletop and in Cassius's case, the iPad version. Mm. Yes. Um, do you think that open to everyone, your playstyle carries over? Uh, in these games, or I, I personally think it does because I mean, I <clears throat> depending on the deck I play, I have a lot of removal. 
in my um, demons in, in my shield red deck. Um, I have murders galore. I've got, yeah. I've got a doom blade in there. <laughs> I've got stuff that gets you to sacrifice them, and all because my stuff takes a while to get out on the field. Yeah, and I can remove a lot of things. My energy deck does the same. I've got burns, sparks, thunder surges, violent dispersals. Okay. At least two of each. So you like playing the heavy removal type thing. For energy, yes. The K is a bit different because it removes over time. Yeah. But it can also spread across the entire thing. Yeah. Which is also what I quite like. So it's, for me, yes, it does. It's still a form of power, though, isn't it? Mm. Just a different, it with, differently applied. Yes. With magic, I like very fast starting things that build up over time. So growth mm. decay would probably be your yeah, style. Yeah, I'm then. struggling with it at the moment, but maybe I'll get it. You'll um, get it in the end. I think once you hit a certain um, card combination in your, in your deck, yeah, you, you'll hit that sweet spot and you'll find yourself flying away with it and mm. you'll be laughing, basically. Yeah, the problem at the moment is most of the stuff is kind of various different, you know, kind of prices, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah, that that's the problem with the pre-constructed decks. That's the only thing I would point out about the pre-constructed decks, is that they do have a huge variety in the different resource types needed to use them, or resource you know, numbers, so between yeah. 1 and 6. But, that's not particularly a bad thing for a starter deck. Yeah. yeah. It, I'd say that you get that with any major CCG, though. I mean, any game that where you can buy a deck pre-made and then build your own from those cards. Yeah. You know, I don't know any newbie Magic players who went and just bought a toolkit and built their deck immediately from that. No. Oh, well. okay, fine. <laughs> Cassius raises a hand there. We're on to ten years ago, but... Bye. Yeah. Well, fair enough. But for the vast majority of players... Mm. I forget, I can't generalise with you. <laughs> You're looking at well. Maya Curse. I like this scroll. Mm. Maya Curse is a brilliant scroll. It's, um, you enchant mm. it. Actually, do try this one, Cassius. Explaining a scroll you barely know. Go. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Basically, because I think I kind of discard it in the next go. You placed, <laughs> <laughs> you placed a bitch root. Oh, God. I did. We are now calling these. A bitch root. Oh yes. dear. That, that, that was useful for a mm. turn. <laughs> Maya Curse is brilliant. You, you enchant one unit on with it, and it won't take any damage. But every unit adjacent to it will take one poison damage. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's fantastic if you put it on a structure mm. that you know isn't going to go anytime soon. Yeah. Yes. It's particularly nice against growth and order players who have a lot of creatures on the board all at once. Yes. And you've just gone, look! These five, you can't move any of them, and these five are all taking one damage a turn. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, speaking of taking damage per turn, we finally found out what Curse does. Oh, yes, yes finally. Curse is actually pretty impressive, relatively. Say the... Well, the Curse level is how much damage is done extra every time damage is dealt to that unit. So say you have a Curse level of two, and you Curse something with Curse two, it will take two extra damage for every... Other source, other damage is dealt. Yes. So if it gets dealt three damage, it'll then get it'll dealt do five. two extra, yeah. and yeah, ultimately five damage overall. Sweet. So now being able to the, yeah. yeah so you go. Being able to curse things multiple times, get say curse three or four on something, you can one hit stuff quite easily then. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's just getting that curse onto it. Yeah. Now um, the main problem we've had with trying to figure out what the hell curse actually does is uh, well, normally. Uh, you'll hover over a particular term that you're not used to in scrolls, and it'll tell you what it does. I'm afraid that wasn't put into the game. <laughs> so, yeah. for those of you who wanted to know what Curse was and didn't read the wiki, um, now you know. Those of you who did read but uh, know what Curse was and think we're all idiots, well, now we know, so screw you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big shout out to all the new players that have joined this week. You know, yes. welcome to the ranks of players. I think um, we have seen nearly every single player that we've played against um, has used Decay in some shape or form. Yeah, they've brought yeah. it in quite heavily. Oh, yeah. That includes me, actually, because I, well, both myself and Hannah Condra have gone out and got scrolls. I say Yay! gone out, we sat there and bought it online, but yeah. <laughs> you sat in and bought scrolls. <laughs> yeah, figuratively speaking. Actually, no, Hannah Condra's we got while we were out because yep. I did it on the iPad while having coffee, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Isn't technology wonderful, kids? Oh, yes. It's too bad you can't actually play scrolls there, but I, I imagine that's probably a port in the works. To be honest, Mo Yang, if you're going to bring it to iPad, please. 
There is no reason not to. It could be. It's a perfect touchscreen game. It really yeah. is. Mm, yeah. Mechanically speaking, there is nothing that wouldn't work with touch controls. Hell, if XCOM Enemy Unknown can work on iPad mm. with touch controls, scrolls can scrolls definitely is do it. Perfect for it. Honestly, it seems very designed that way yeah. to begin with. So that may have been their original. I have a feeling they are, they are working yeah. on something yeah. similar for touchscreen. I mean, guys, you did a fantastic job with Minecraft, bringing it to iOS. Yeah. I've played it. Play Pocket Edition to death. It's brilliant. <laughs> and let's not forget the Android users, um, because you know they use well, another system. Yeah, true. And Windows Phone, for that matter. Okay, mobile touchscreen devices uh, would work yes. well for This is our pile. Minecraft's not on Windows Phone, which it kind of annoys me. Screw you! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is where I play devil's advocate and point out how relativistically difficult it is to deaden for Windows Phone. No, that's fair enough. And the fact that the installed user base for it is less than 9% of the overall user base of smartphones these mm. days. Um... It's one. Of, it's like the Wii U. It's one of these circular situations where the uptake isn't high enough because there aren't enough good apps because the uptake isn't high enough, and it's it's a nightmare. Mm. Once we see Microsoft and Nokia really start to pull their finger out, which the new Lumias are starting to really show that, um, and once Smart Glass really takes off for Microsoft, which it should with the Xbox One because of all the integrated features. Yeah. Assuming the Xbox One even remotely sells, which, you know. It, it, might, might it, might, it might do. It might do, it, it might not, released. we don't know. It will get released. <laughs> um, just, on on yeah. a random note, Cassius just found out what spiky means. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the hard way. <laughs> when so, the husk charged the spiky dude and died. It's like running yeah. headlong into a cactus with nine inch nails sticking out of it. I saw a... I know this now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bag earlier on you could have that been. had a picture of a, ca- a smiley cactus on it with a free hug sign around its neck. Oh. <laughs> Three hugs, you will feel pain. And I think I know, I've man. just got my costume for MCM in October. Oh dear. Well, free hugs, cast. <laughs> Yeah, cactus. you know, the cactus dude from Final Fantasy, but with three hugs and nine-inch nails sticking out my costume. You oh. can't actually do that. <laughs> That'd be rubber, not yeah. real. If the real, spiky but, yeah. special rule on this starts becoming a real problem for me, I'm blaming you. <laughs> there aren't many units that actually have the spiky special rule, and most of them seem to be order. Okay. It's like, it's every resource seems to have its own spin. Um. Decay has curse um, and poison now. Yeah. Um, order seems to have a, a few spiky things. Uh, Slayer, I think. And growth is... has spiky things too. Mm. Yeah, growth does have spiky things. Right. So order and growth both have good spiky things. And energy just has a lot of things that do ranged. In fact, yeah. there's, there's only yeah. actually two. I'm not counting the copper automaton because that blows the fuck up. Um, there's only <laughs> two. <laughs> Boom. There's only two um, actually melee units in energy. That's the iron golem and the solemn giant. <clears throat> and the solemn giant's infinitely better. By far. Mm-hmm. You have no okay. cards. Yeah, you end up with no cards in your hand at some point. Yeah. It's not the... Well, several points in my case. Yeah, well, that, that, yeah. that's fine. It's, it's not the... Um, yeah, after being most... after being used to magic, it's actually quite a strange feeling. Mm. Well, first, people say magic... I, I know I've heard some people say magic that the ideal situation is to have nothing but instants in your hand. Oh, uh, no. No, well, what do yeah. you do on your turn, then? I mean... You draw a card, play it, supposedly, but... Yeah. Well... The thing is, I don't hold that because there are a lot of things that I would hold back until late game. Yeah. Because if I bring out Avacy in early game and someone exiles her, can... Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of dudes on the other side of the... Oh, it gets worse. Yeah, there really are. I... Definitely no post-production here. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I think this, this is... Um... The, the guy you're matched against is unfortunately ridiculously skilled. Yes, uh, I think yeah. so. That's yes. the nice thing, though. There are a lot of very skilled scrolls players out there now. Yeah, yeah they've learned the game very well, but they're not wankers about it. No. No, that I think I've come across very, very few people who mm. I would say are bad gamers for scrolls, yeah. really. That's the thing. We we've talked about the community before here. Mm. More than ever, especially in the game I played um, recently, mm. I've noticed that the community is fantastically friendly. Oh yeah, intelligent. You know, there's a lot of people who are just really lovely, who want a good game, mm. want to encourage <laughs> the sportspersonship of it. You know, they're just really good people. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to constantly be talking in chat to be a good person to play against. I mean, in a lot of games, I've played some of my best games and not spoken a word other than GLHF. What to did my you opponent. just play? Yeah. I think it, he played Searing Shackles. 
Oh. Did I know what that I do? No. No? Okay, cool. Uh, okay, save you some time. All the cards, don't remember. Okay, cool. Ask him. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, Searing Shackles is brilliant because um, that uh, deals one damage to the idol on the roll of the enchanted creature at the, I think it's the, at the end of the turn, and it also deals two damage to that creature if they move. Oh, yeah, now I remember. It's brilliant. Yes. Um, you, you can get situations whereby you can't move your unit for fear of it dying, but if you don't move your unit for fear of it dying, it's then die. your idol, your, either, either your idol will die or your idol will get hit and you don't really want it to get hit because it might mm. be your last one left before you lose, basically. I think Freya is watching us while she's in. Yeah, Freya, the beige chinchilla from the photos, is snuffling around and eating willow sticks and looking very cute. And moderately terrified now because we're all staring at her. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? Oh dear. <coughs> now, on that note. <laughs> yes, I think uh, it's yeah, it's a twenty four to even play, play, um, uh, paired off against someone that's quite skilled. I think in all fairness, that's my fault because my rating's over a thousand. Yeah. Well, I... wait till you get to over nine thousand. I think at that point I might actually be in the top one hundred. At, at least yeah. it wasn't less than five minutes. Yeah, nobody five turned you, which I don't actually know if it's possible to do in scrolls. No, I don't it's not. Think it not is. because because the countdown system. Yeah. Um, it's very very difficult for anybody to, to two turn or three turn anybody, because as well, it's not just the countdown system; it's the sacking for resources. The fact that you, you can only sacrifice one thing at a time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereby you can land cascade in magic and stuff, but hell, I've done yeah. the mana left sliver. Yeah. I've had three lands out, and I've managed to get myself six or seven slivers well, very quickly. The game I played the other day, you won it, but I had three legendary angels on the table by turn six, yes. I think. Yes. Because I had a Quicksilver amulet and four lands out. Did you win that one? No, you won it, because you literally bull rushed me. And you sure? Yeah, you won. won. No, you won it. I won the game after, oh, okay, where I ended enough. on 50 life, and you were... Um, um, yes. Crushed horribly. Yes. In the meantime, this guy's turtling. Yeah, he really is. Can you what? call it turtling when they're not turtles? Yes, you can. They could yeah, be so turtles if they like, maneuver. put turtle shells on. Well, in this case, he's basically making it so that you have to engage yes. the top two idols while he's building up his defences on the bottom three. Yeah. Unless you want to lose a lot of ship. And <laughs> also, because he's got very offensive units on that side, um... Well, he can nip, nip away at your bottom three idols until you die. It's, it's a very good tactic, and it's one I use in most of my games, right? I try to. That's what Order's good at, though, getting a lot of creatures out quickly, building up a rank mm. of them, and. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, as a, a, new, a new starting player, guys, what advice would you give to starting, uh, starting gamers? Read oh, the rules. Wow. Um, Read the rules before I'd you play. Say. <laughs> play the tutorial. Yes. Play the tutorial. What's that say? I think. Well, you to be think? fair, for the three of us who didn't get scrolls until like today, well, the past couple of days, um, it's we jumped in at the deep end, having watched you play a lot. That was one hell of an experience, but it's not something I'd recommend for people. So we were playing with a very well-crafted deck that had been made very strategically already. Whereas a lot of people, if they've just got their first deck, diving straight into a match with someone, I would advise against it personally. I'd say at least play a couple of trials beforehand. Because the trials, I found them quite difficult. But they do steal you for online play. Yeah. Well, the trials are meant to be difficult. They're meant to throw you into situations that you might feasibly be in. I could not point. physically beat the second trial with growth in there. Oh. I had to go with just decay because, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Possibly. I think other new users are going to find this game to be very immersive as well, at least initially. You're going to spend a lot of time um, developing your deck, getting it together yeah. into something that you like, that you enjoy playing <laughs> with, until you reach a point where you can more relax with it and just um, Play, play some games occasionally. I think initially it's going to be a, it's it's quite a um, intensive uh, game to start off with. I yeah. think to start. But I think with, well worth it. To start with. What advice main... would you give to a new new starter? After reading through the rules, after reading about the generic um, style of the game, 
sort of have an idea of what you want to, to um, what kind of deck you want to build, where you want to uh, go with it, because there are so many possibilities. I mean, you've got to have some form of um, reference point to direct you in what you want to do. Otherwise, you could just get swamped with all the possibilities, and with strategy, don't get upset style of play. To start with, if you can't win with the type of deck that you want. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's going to take a while to get the scrolls you yeah, want. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Don't be disheartened. I mean, it doesn't matter if you lose as long as you have a good time at the end of the day. So yeah, I think that's interesting. Actually, you're saying about setting your own goal there. Hmm. It reminds me very much of the advice given for Minecraft players, <laughs> where you have to have your own goal in mind for what you want to do because it's very much mm. a make your own fun game. That's very mm. true. Obviously, scrolls is a lot more structured, a hell of a lot more structured oh, yeah. than Minecraft. Oh yeah. But it shows that. Mojang ingenuity again with the idea that you know you do still have to have your idea in mind of what you want to do that's normal for CCGs I think mm. but at the same time it's it does show that kind of continuity of their idea of making your own fun mm. within yeah. a framework they've given you yeah it does yeah you've got out a blob <laughs> the <Ill> Maya <laughs> rot eater it doesn't last long Again, no post-production. <laughs> it's Spoiler. a prophecy, motherfucker. <laughs> I've noticed that it's um, good to put him behind things and then let the creatures in front of him die and then he absorbs all of their... Mm. Yeah, it is just... useful because he his attack and toughness goes up by one for every creature that dies adjacent to him. My favourite attack yes. to the bat is to surround him with creatures, play down Grizzly oh. Graft, kill all those creatures, and then because Grizzly Graft gives him... Extra attack and toughness equal to the creatures that got killed around him, he gets basically double what he would normally get, which turns him into one beast of, yeah. of a killer. Which is very difficult to take out. Massive yeah, no, I appreciate what you're saying, that is kind of what I was trying to do. Mm. Unfortunately, in this situation, it didn't really work. No. You put him in danger too quickly. In there, yeah, I think that's so. the thing. The Ilmai Rotator is quite nasty for three resources. It's 3 3 and with a countdown of. I think it's either two or three. I can't remember. Mm. But um, it's it it's not easy to kill off. <laughs> there you go. Unless yeah, you <laughs> put it in uh, mercilessly constant danger. But in all fairness, it kept that was a life. really bad turn for me. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. It's your first game. Oh yeah, but you're, you're specifically not, that turn. Relativistically speaking, and the comments may say otherwise, but you're not doing badly here. No. Considering you had no, I wasn't no clue of what you were doing. doing. Well, considering oh, yeah. you had no clue what you're doing, you hadn't looked over the cards to begin with beforehand, and you were paired against someone who the game thought would be a good match for my account. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, quick side note, guys. Apologies for the background noise. We need to have the windows open or else we will actually cook in here. Mm. Um, having just cooked a massive roast dinner, the lounge is stupidly warm, mm. and Starbug, our recording machine, is venting heat like a bitch mm -hmm. because she runs really hot from oh, yeah. doing this work. Now, this is something I can't quite understand, Cassius. Right. You've put the bitch root... At the yep. back. At the back. Yes. You've put the wall behind the creature. Yes. Can I ask you why? It was a half-hearted bluff attempt. Um, I'd already accepted that, that the totem, the pole, um, was a loss. Um, I put it there as a cheap thing to make it look like I was hoarding things there in an attempt to draw his creatures in that direction. I don't um, think... I was going to say, um, um, what were you bluffing for? <laughs> <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever's, whatever was going to crop up next from your deck. Bluff plays are not a bad idea. I mean, mm. I've I don't think not people seen them think... done successfully in mm. scrolls in the past. But... I don't think people think that hard yeah. <laughs> in scrolls. They don't tend to, but I mean, I, I, I think quite hard about every decision I make in scrolls. Whether I sack for resources or cards is a big thing for me. And there you go, guys. That's another question to leave in the comments. <laughs> Have you ever done a bluff play? You know, yeah, have yeah. you successfully pulled off a bluff in scrolls? If or you any, have, tell us how you did it. Or any other CCG for that matter. Because, yeah. you know, we play a lot of different things here. Um, except Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, well, we don't play Yu Gi Oh! All, all, all Pokemon cards. I still have like hundreds of Pokemon cards lying around. Most of them are first eds. I do somewhere, I guess. I yeah. think. 
If anybody is interested in buying a shit ton of first edition Pokemon cards, <laughs> send me a check for about a thousand pounds to the boy guide. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. send them a check. Don't worry about the cards. They'll never get to you. <laughs> Possibly send me a return address as well. You know? But no, seriously, leave a comment in the comments section. That thing down yeah. below the video. Don't, don't leave a comment in the non-comment section. Because um, no one likes that. Are we segregating like... comments and non-comments now? Because that's racist. <laughs> I thought that'd be commentist. That's a bit racialist, isn't it? Like... <laughs> well, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine some people trying to comment on a video. They click that on the video and type. Up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, also, yeah, big shout out to Jack's Films and Your Grammar Sucks. Not that he really needs it. I prefer if it, this was the other way around he was shouting out for us but you know um, he's a hell of a lot of fun and we've been watching a lot of his stuff recently mm. the Your Indeed. Grammar Sucks rap is absolutely fucking hilarious go check him out Indeed. my grammar sucks today my grammar sucks every day Cassius for the record is somewhat verbally limited verbally challenged, challenged. <laughs> yeah, you see I was being verbally limited when I said so He's verbally... Something. <laughs> something. And apparently I'm not the only one. <laughs> now, in all fairness, in this game, you did give yourself a really good run. And for a new player, in all fairness, if I'd just the... jumped in straight away with the energy deck, I'd have probably ended up horrifically dying and losing and crashing and burning. What's your opinion of how I did? Or have you not seen it? I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't had time to check the uh, previous videos out yet, which I feel really bad for. Yeah. I think my opponent was being nice. It's quite possible, I yeah. think he actually gave himself the aim to see how many creatures he could get out before he had to kill me without... In all fairness, you did put a draining Mist on his creatures, which meant that for every cre every creature that on the opponent's side that had a countdown of one or less, it would uh, shoot back up to three, because it had two to it. Um, yeah, I put a few of those on. Yeah, which delayed which his... Which does um, delay it, yes. Ju but... His Juggernaut bull rush. Yes. But I... I, I uh... I think unless for somehow those those three units, one of which is a creature, um, can can do horrific things for the rest of his stuff, uh, <laughs> you might be a bit bored. They're rather outnumbered at this point, aren't they? A little bit, yeah. Just a little. The bitch yeah. root gets up and slaps someone. <laughs> the bitch slaps someone. Or well, the creature just picks it up and starts planking people. Uh, in all fairness, that creature uh, is cur can uh, put curse two on things. Yes. So Which now we know is useful. Yeah, <laughs> if you put, if you can tag that with Infect the Blight, yes. then Infect the Blight does one poison damage. And some poison wells. Yes, because put down three poison wells, use Infect the Blight, and then curse two that unit, and they will be taking around about five damage. Are poison wells the same as Miasma wells? Um, um, I think they're probably the same scroll. They're probably the same thing, but yeah. I've misremembered the name. They increase all poison damage by one. Now be careful, because if your stuff gets poisoned, that counts for you too. Yeah. The game plays by its rules. It's quite nice in oh, that yeah. regard. It's brilliant. It really, really is. Right. I um, should probably mention that this is actually a two-parter episode. We'll be having two games go up tonight yes, to make up the lack of output for the past week. We apologise again for the sporadic content uploads. We have had something of the... Hotel Syndrome at Void Hive HQ over the past week. We've had a busy week. <laughs> um, at one point we've had seven people staying in the flat, and this is not the biggest flat out there. Oh god, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Two on the sofa, and five in the other rooms? Yeah. Not all in the same room, in separate rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Just to point that particular point out. Mm. So, yeah. It's been a busy few weeks. But we're slowly getting back to normal. Um, uploads will resume daily from this point in. Uh, next week should be back to normal. I am, however, away on a course for two weeks uh, as of next Monday, so it might not be as normal as you would like. Or as we would like, if you don't like it. And if you don't like it, we don't like that you don't like it. I could record some, yeah. possibly. Basically, whoever's available during the day will take on the role of recording. Yep. And the commentary will probably be all of us. We don't know yet. Mm. We'll see what happens and it see how dead on. we all are. Yeah, it depends on just how the, the, those two weeks goes. But after those two weeks, uh, we should be back to recording as usual for a, a time until something else comes up. Which it will, no doubt. But oh, yeah. 
Anyway, back to the game, where I think you have another blob, but I think you're still a little bit boned. In all fairness, he has a blob down where no creatures can really get at him. Unless he, unless he moves that guy down. Yeah. Yeah, he's a blob. <laughs> Wait for it. I think you made that exact comment, didn't you? The blob was safe unless he moved something down. <laughs> and then it moved something down. And then he moved, yeah. Oh, and wait for it. And, oh no. No, not this turn. Not no, this something turn, else no. happened. Yeah. He played like three of these. Oh god, yeah, just buff everything up. And everything now dies. Yay. Oh, that was a destructo turn. Another curse monger. Not fair, the more curse mongers you can get out, the better. We didn't actually know what Curse did at this point, though. So. No, we didn't. <laughs> but I know for us, I always try and keep an eye on my Curse models and use Curse anywhere because I'm fairly sure it's some form of positive effect, positive effect for me. Hmm. Yeah. I, I now, the Elmire Witch Doctor is interesting. The ability to spawn undead husks, it's kind of like an automated forge, but better because it's every time a human thing dies around it. So if you can get a couple of them spun around, get a rotty, get a rotty to behind it as well. <laughs> Use Grizzly Craft, kill all the humans off, replace them all with undead husks, and you will end up with one very, very potent rotty just surrounded by husks. This is where order decay would work well. Yes. You all you the decay or the factory. energy yeah. decay, because energy decay, you can there's literally... The humans in that as well. There's like, dust runners, like... there's scatter gunners, um, and there's storm runners, and they're all really cheap resource creatures. Yeah. I quite like Pestis. Um... Brings out rats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You put it on a creature. I think if they kill another unit... If they kill another unit, then another major rat comes out. Yeah, for some randomly, reason, somewhere. Yeah, so now I messed up with this deck because, for some reason, I took out the major rats and left the pesters in. Ah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I've got pesters, which uh, is useful. Man it produces rat. major rats. I think it has something to do with uh, how many rats... Oh, enchanted unit, unit gets plus one attack for each rat you have in play. Yeah. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I think we are looking at the end here. Indeed. Cassie's at the end. Yes. Wow. Yo. Yeah, let. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Ow. And that's a dead idol, too. And boom. Ow. Yeah, but at least I only lost three. Hey, you played a good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn you. You played a good game. We did indeed. So that's all we have time for uh, today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. See you in the next one, guys.